and welcome to another episode of FUBA. Today we are going to talk about CDK pipelines and passing parameters inside your pipelines. So this was a question many, many of you asked me. Like I have these pipelines and it's good, you hard coded a lot of values, but I would like to make my configuration and my parameters dynamically, or I would like to reutilize the same pipeline in multiple places, you know, infrastructure as code, be able to reutilize things all around. I get you. So that's why this video is happening today. We are going to talk about passing parameters inside your environmental variable. We are going to talk about two types of parameters. We are going to talk about secrets. Uh, these secrets are things that nobody should see, no your developers, no one from outside your company. This can be API keys, GitHub tokens, uh, I don't know, credentials for databases, whatever you need. And for that, we are going to use the secret uh, manager. And if you don't know what the secret manager is, I have a video about it, but basically it's a simple storage where you can store secrets in a secure way and you can call the secret manager with the name of the secret and you will get the secret bug. And that's how we've been doing with the GitHub token, for example, but I will show you how to create that and how to create the token as well in today's video. You can also use the parameter store and encrypt these secrets as well. That's an option. And you can also get it in a similar way, but I will show you how to do it with the secret manager. It's so, so simple with CDK. Then the second type of environment variables that we want in our CDK projects, in our CDK pipelines more specifically, is configuration. We want configuration for where our repository is, what is the name, what is who is the owner, what is the main branch, in which account I'm deploying my CDK pipelines, in which region, in which region I have my stage one, two, whatever. Uh, all this configuration needs to go somewhere. And until now, I have made a video on the CDK pipelines explaining you everything everything, so the link is in the description box, but basically in that video I didn't show you how to use any kind of configuration management, I was just dropping all the <laughs> numbers inside the code, but in this video I will show you how to do it. It's so simple, it's so, so easy, so clean that you will not want to do it in a different way. So let's get started. If you're watching here, you want to know more about CDK pipelines, you want to know how to deploy your CDK applications, you want to know more about CDK, just hit that like, comment, tell YouTube you like this content so you will get more of it. So to start this demo, I will start with the code of the CDK pipelines example. So I will clone that repo into my computer. Uh, if you're cloning, remember to remote, remove the remote. So because you will need to push this uh, to an empty GitHub repo so the CDK pipelines can work. Also, after you download this, do npm install, make sure the, C the CDK is up to date. You might need to update it and all those things. If you don't know how to do that and you need help, let me know in the comments. I will just open everything and there you will see in this project that I have the, the CDK pipeline stack with the account number and the region where I want to deploy uh, the CDK pipelines. So I will start by creating a config file, a config JSON file. And in here I will throw all the configuration for my application. And this includes everything that is not a secret like the name of my pipeline, the name of the repository where the CDK is, the owner, the branch, uh, build environment information, where, which account hosts this, uh, the different environment information, everything else that we need. If we have some personalization, like an SNS topic email or some other repos, whatever you need, that is not specific for this um, application and you can just regenerate it anywhere else, put it in this config file. And this way, then the only thing you need to do is to change everything in the config file and it will work. So I will leave the code for you so you can download it. And when you download it, you will see in the downloadables that there is this config.example.json. And this is the config file that you just rename to config.json and put all your values in there and it should work in your environment. We can start using it and by using it, I can just basically import that uh, config file into 
my um, TypeScript so I can do basically just import and that will bring the JSON file. Well, actually it won't because I get an error. I need to modify the configuration of TypeScript to allow to use a JSON file. So go to the configuration of your TypeScript project and add the um, resolve JSON module, so then you can import a config file, and with that, then you can use that config, that JSON file, anywhere in your application. So let's, for example, change the pipeline name to I don't know some name, CDK pipeline and bars, something very descriptive. You know me, I'm very good at this, and then we can rename the pipeline to config dot CDK pipeline dot pipeline name, and in this way, you will always get uh, the name of the thing. This is quite handy. We can do the same for the repository. So I have here uh, the owner, the repository um, and the branch. And after creating a new repository, I can basically pass it through. You can also see here that it says uh, secret value, the secret manager. That's how you use a, a token from the secret manager. I will show you how to create that and how to handle that in a second. But this is how you use it in CDK. So simple and it's quite nice. So let's continue with our configuration and then I can do um, config CDK pipeline and the repo owner the same for the repo name and the same for the branch. So again, going into this config and finding the right path. And then in the config JSON, I can put the right values and we are good to go. And then you can download this, change the values or put the values for your project and it will work for you. Magic. <laughs> So then another thing that we can automate, uh, we can create as configuration files is the account and the region for the different stages. In my example, I will deploy to the same region, the same account, but you could have it different regions, different accounts, and you can have as many stages as you want. So just create that in your configuration file, change the name of the account, change the region and voila. You don't need to have it hard coded in your file. So this is a uh, very, very simple, very clean. And then you can download the file, put your account number and it will deploy. So very simple config again, environments in this case there, but put the path that works for you. I just put a very long path, but you don't need this. You can have everything in a list as attributes. I like to nest things where they belong because these config files tend to get very long. So that's why I have this structure but do the structure that suits you best. So after configuring that, then we can configure also the, the main app. And there we need to put the account number and the region for the CDK pipeline, where the CDK pipeline is getting deployed. So again, we can use the configuration and create another uh, attribute that is the build environment, the account and the region and populate that info. In my case, same account, same region than before. But that's the magic of and the power of CDK pipelines. You can have multiple accounts, multiple regions, and everything should work. So then uh, that's how you do it. And then I want to show you how you create the token in GitHub token, because that's something you asked me. I show it in some other video, but I want to show you exactly how you do it again, because we are talking about secrets. So go to your GitHub settings on your personal and go to developer settings. And there you can create a personal access token, create a new one and give a name. I give the name Marcia test. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> account, because it's the name of my AWS account, set an expiration date, and then you need to add the permissions of repo and admin repo hook. Those are the two permissions that this need in order to work. So uh, give those permissions. Um, and when you do, then you can create the token. Then you get the token, you copy it, and then you go to the secret manager and you create a new secret. There you have many options to create secrets. You have credentials for RDS, so it handles those credentials automatically. Same for Redshift or DocumentDB, and then for other uh, database. But we want to choose other type of secrets, and that's because 
we don't have any database for this. It's just a GitHub um, token. This allows you to also do rotation of credentials. So for example, uh, it will handle the rotation for you, but we will not do this uh, in this case. But let's pick other type of secret, and then we can choose a plain text and then just paste that um, token. And then basically you can give permissions, you can give a name, you can add the rotation if you have it. Whatever, I put GitHub token too. I have already one that is properly configured, uh, but I'm just creating one uh, for you to show you. And then you store it and there you have it to use it. Basically, you can call it from your app with the secret manager uh, library from CDK, give the name of the secret and then you're done. Uh, when you delete this, please delete it. It uh, takes around seven days to delete. So if you create it to play, then delete it because this costs money. So make sure you delete. Then when you're ready, push to GitHub and do all the shabang to start deploying your CDK pipeline. If you are deploying it for the first time, you might need to do NPM uh, run build and CDK uh, deploy from your local machine. If you already deploy it because you're working on something that is existent, just push to GitHub and everything will start uh, building in pipelines. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch that video on CDK pipelines. Um, this will uh, do everything that it needs. It will self-update. It will add those uh, environmental variables using the config files and the secret manager, and it will build the two environments for you. And that's it. So now you can go and test it and everything is ready. And that's the video I have for you today. I will do one more video in CDK Pipeline answering more questions, but let me know what other questions you have on this topic. I would love to make more videos and more content about these CDK pipelines. I'm super excited about them. I'm learning a lot. So just let me know in the comment box below what you would like to know about. And I see you in the next episode of Uwa. Ciao, ciao!